parable of the dishonest Jew follows three other parables about things having been lost. The lost sheep, the lost coin, and the lost son who ran away, only to be reunited with his family later. Each of them reveals something of the intent of God to seek what is lost and to restore it to its rightful place. God is seen in the shepherd who searches, the woman who sweeps her house, and the father who watches for his son's return. Jesus then tells a parable of a wasteful steward who cheats his soon-to-be ex-master out of significant wealth in order to gain favour from possible future prospective employers. Where is God in this? Is God the master being cheated or those with whom the servant gains favour? Or is it the servant himself? As the servant was the mediator between the master and his debtors, Jesus becomes the servant who mediates between God and a lost humanity. The household of God became poorer. Something was lost when Christ Jesus emptied himself, taking the form of a servant. When Jesus sacrificed himself, as Paul says in 1 Timothy, becoming a ransom for all, he gained favour with those whom he restored to himself and therefore to the Father. How astute that the Son of God should wipe out the debts of humanity and although done at some loss, has gained the creation for God. In lowering himself, he revealed what, what is of value while we live in this world. In comparison to heaven, he took responsibility for little things, including those he called the little ones, those perceived as tainted, yet who came to him as rejected people and sinners. In caring for them, he became a true servant of God, worthy to take responsibility for greater things in the kingdom of God. Perhaps, too, as the redeemed, we might find ourselves more willing to care for the things of this world in order to be more effective in the life of the kingdom of God.